Mr Speaker, we all want our economy to open and to get back to normal. The question is whether we do it in a controlled way or a chaotic way. The Health Secretary told the House yesterday that under the Government's plan, infections could go as high as 100,000 a day. Now, a number of key questions fall from that. First, if infections reach that level, 100,000 per day, what does the Prime Minister expect the number of hospitalisations, deaths and the number of people with long Covid will be in that eventuality? Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, the, uh, there are a number of uh, projections uh, and they're, they're available from the, from the SPI-M graphs, but it's certainly true, Mr Speaker, that we are seeing a wave of, of cases because of the, the Delta variant, but uh, scientists are also absolutely clear uh, that we have severed the link uh, between uh, infection and serious disease and death. And, and currently there are only uh, a thirtieth of, 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 the, of the deaths that we were seeing at an equivalent position in previous waves of this uh, pandemic. And that has been made possible thanks to the vaccine rollout, uh, the fastest of any European country. And I think what uh, people would like to hear from uh, the party opposite, because I wasn't quite clear from that opening question, is whether or not they support the progress that this country is intending to make on July the 19th or not, Mr Speaker. Uh, he says it's a reckless to go ahead. Does that mean he's opposing it? Starmer. Mr Speaker, we know that the link between infection rates and deaths has been weakened, but it hasn't been broken. And the Prime Minister must, and he certainly should know the answer to the question that I asked him. That he won't answer it here in the House hardly inspires confidence in his plan. Mr Speaker, let's be clear why infection rates are so clear, are so high. Because the Prime Minister let the Delta, or we can call it the Johnson variant, into the country. And let's be clear, let's be clear why the number of cases will surge so quickly. Because he is taking all protections off in one go. That is reckless. The Sage papers yesterday, Mr Speaker, make clear that with high infection rates, there's a greater chance of new variants emerging, greater pressure on the NHS, more people will get long COVID, and test and trace will be less effective. Yeah. Knowing all that, is the Prime Minister really comfortable with a plan that means 100,000 people catching this virus yeah. every day and everything that that entails? Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, I really think we need to hear uh, from what the Honourable uh, General, what he actually uh, supports. Uh, we will continue with a balanced and, and reasonable approach. And, and I've given the, the reasons uh, this country has rolled out the fastest vaccination programme uh, anywhere in Europe. The, the vaccines provide uh, more than 90% uh, protection against hospitalisation, both of them. Uh, Mr Speaker, by the 19th of July, uh, we will have vaccinated uh, every adult will have been offered uh, one vaccination. Uh, everybody over 40, Mr Speaker, will have been offered uh, two uh, vaccinations. That is an extraordinary achievement. That's an allowing us to go ahead. Now, last week, uh, Mr Speaker, or earlier this week, uh, he seemed to support opening up. Uh, getting rid of the one metre rule. He seemed to support uh, getting back into nightclubs and, uh, uh, and getting back into pubs without masks, Mr Speaker. Uh, but if he doesn't support it, perhaps he could clear it up now. Is it reckless or not, Mr Speaker? Mr Speaker, we should, we should open up in a controlled way.